be She keeps saying that I'm crazy Yo guys, it's your boy Nathan back again with another reaction video. Of course, with my boy, boy Brito. Brito, we're back here with another reaction. Today, we're going to react to Bugs Malone, MEM Part 3. The first one that Bugs Malone started off on was the Link Up TV joint, which is on 32 million views. Came out five years ago on Link Up TV. Incredible. Yeah, nice. From then on, he's just been on the rise. He's been clear, man. Ever since the chip beef. Like, his career just went up and up and up. And you know what? I can't even custom with that. Of course, I'm a huge chip fan. I know you're a huge chip yeah, fan as well. Yeah, big chip fan. Let me not lie, like, I can't deny it. With the MEN series, I've seen a few of the videos in the past. So, of course, I've seen the first MEN. I've seen MEN 2. MEN 2 was dropped on his own channel. That one's sitting on 10 million views. And, yeah, man, like, he's really doing his thing. Of course, um, sadly, Bugs Malone got into a terrible accident, like, months ago at the start of the year. And it was quite sad. But you know what? I don't want to talk about the past it's nice to see that he's back and he's yeah. healthy and he's back you know what i mean doing yeah. his thing now so Straight. yeah man it's nice to see that he's back on this music thing big up manchester as well of course you can tell from an actor manny from oh, manchester you got manchester as well 0161 0161 doing their thing popping off right now you got h mastermind Bugsy, you know what I mean? You got a few more men that are just coming up doing their thing. So yeah, we're gonna get straight into this one. Make sure you lot do comment and leave a like on this video. Almost at two thousand subscribers, so make sure to subscribe to the video. It's your boy Nathan. It's your boy Brito. Let's go. One thing about Bugsy, this is coming out really good. Yeah. Hey, as soon as I got to the hospital, the nurses told me I'm looking to be alive. I know he's got an incredible story to tell. Right in my chest. Oh. Shit nearly killed me. And now I'm whacked. You know what I'm calling it? Mad, 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 yeah. mad. Bro, you just gotta think the man yeah. above. What? You gotta think the man above. It's mad, man. Thank God he survived that one. Storytelling skills, he's got that a lot, man. That's mm. one thing I clock. I think it was the fire in the booth with Charlie Sloth. Um, I know you're saying it once again for my man, but it didn't really matter. Like, I could tell from that video, it's easy to identify that this guy's really hard at this storytelling yeah, thing. He's a he's good artist, yeah, man. He's got it a lot. Kind of reminds me of rap, man. But you know what? Even though he's from Manny, and when I do listen to artists from different locations yeah. or whatnot. But this guy's accent is hard. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's hard. It's yeah. hard hitting. You know yeah, what he's, mean? Got, he's got good delivery. Yeah, delivery is cold, man. The city. I tell him to my mouth goes dry and I need a drink. I sleep well these days. I never miss a wink. I know I can't catch the virus. Still, there's pain in my chest. A court case coming for fame for a sec. I'm going to have to stand and take judgment again. But I can look him in his eye. I have my baby to protect. Couple of things I never said out loud. I've just been living with it. I gotta speak hard. I was fucking with my spirit. I swore tie around my neck and hanging from the ceiling. He burst into the room. I was embarrassed when he see me. So I put it to my wrist and yeah, I slay. Did I cut it deep though? I gotta say I shit it. I'm moving was a knee, but when I heard you came, one of our customers into my dad, I got say I really nearly did it, but I told myself I would never do it. Another thing, another thing, big up the producer on this one because production, crazy man. Yeah, the producer set the vibe on this one big time, like the beat in the background. Sounds yeah, I don't know what sample that is in the background, but it sounds nice. Yeah, beat is hard, man, and Buzzy is flowing well, man, as always. Do anything silly. I told myself I'd take it out on niggas don't fuck with me. And that's why I never lost. And that's why I'm a boss. And that's why I was the first one to rep my city. I got fake friends talking like I don't show intelligence. Like I didn't demonstrate due diligence. Man telling me about my residence. Like I couldn't give a green light and leave no evidence. Ah, oh, place in the Louis. Waves under the Dewey. Skeleton Kai. So I can What's see the through his levels to this pretty shit. Me and top tier. Any talk of me not being a legend stops here when the car pulled up. One thing I always say, because I'm going to link this situation to what happened to 50 Cent. You see, when man go through hard situations like this, like, for example, when 50 Cent got shot, got shot about, what, seven to nine times, yeah. I didn't die, like, it's clear that his destiny yeah. was... 
strong, but yeah, he, like, he was destined for something yeah, greater. Yeah, destined for something. Yeah, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. 100%, man. And Buzzy Malone went through this, bro. You think he's going to come back soft? Nah, bro. He's going to come back hard. He's going to come back with some of the tunes that he was bringing yeah. back in the past, but... You can tell he's come back as well. Look at his swagger. It's just yeah, different, man. bro. Different, man. He come back on some new vibes. You yeah. know what I mean? He probably studied the game and whatnot, but... Yeah, man. Is that Bugsy in that photo there? No, it's his cousin. Oh, is that his cousin? Yeah, he said, oh, right, like, cool. it was just about how he, um, he's cut, like, the same accident I felt mm-hmm. killed his cousin. I was thinking, Karad, I don't look like man, man. I'm about to be fake, but I'm too rich to argue these days, so I just give it space on the hustle. Yes. Bet the morphine, I'm be tripping, giggling at nothing, into reminiscing. Crash through in 70 without wearing a helmet. Believing God or not, there's no denying a blessing. I'm proud of God, slowly healing. Lay on the bed and my chest was beating. The blood clot passed through my heart and into my lungs, and the pain was a deeper feeling. I shouted for the nurse, I could feel myself leaking with a face full of sweat. Could barely catch my breath, even though I knew I was hanging by a thread of tree. They put me in the newspapers and magazines, you better recognize a legend when you catch a sneak peek. It's not the first time I shed blood on the street, but the way they take you off, it was like a murder scene. Huh? Fucking bugs in alone. 2020. Come back. Fucking resurrection. Hey, it's long. Cause coming back. Yeah. I love these beats, yeah, yeah, I love these productions, yeah, 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 One thing I like about him, man, he's maintained this whole fitness thing, you know, yeah. he's always been on the fitness thing, man. Great. Do you know what it is, yeah, it's cause he's a, cause he's, he does boxing and he's a boxer, so he's used to coming, like, getting knocked down and coming, coming back, back up, yeah. so it's like, it's nothing to him still, he's been through a lot. Yeah, straight up. They got Bugsy Malone on this one, man. They got 016 on. That was the official reaction for Bugsy Malone, MEM Part 3. Currently sitting on 87,000 views within 49 minutes. Um, what do you what do you have to say about this one? No, I thought it was good. It was very like introspective. I think he's just I think this track was more about him just telling the the, um, the viewers that like, his fans what what he experienced and letting them know that that didn't kill him, that, that just made him stronger, which is it's just good to see, really. Yeah, for me, this one, I felt this one a lot. Of course, it's not one of them songs where it's just like, he's gone for a litty vibe or whatnot. This is more of like a storytelling thing. This is one of them tracks where I feel like Barzim Malone executes very well. Like, we've seen it in the past. These types of storytelling songs that he drops, they're harder. And I think yeah. he's like really a genius at like, yeah. what he's doing, you know what I mean? One thing that Bozzy does well, he's able to grab your emotion. Like, so you're able to take the fans to the time of the crash and how he was feeling. So, like, it makes us connect with him yeah, so that's no, a very good track to be honest 100 percent. the way he describes his journey you kind of feel as a fan as if you're kind of like almost with him on that journey you know what i mean i like the way that he's come back onto the scene i was really like kind of sad to see that he just went ghost for time of course he probably was all right maybe halfway throughout the year but he's probably just looked at the game and was like cool let me take a step back analyze how i'm gonna come back and just do my next thing do you know what i mean but yeah big up bugsy malone on this one this was mem3 make sure you guys go check this one if you haven't already i know you guys must have been a part of the 87,000 that i already have so yeah make sure you like this video subscribe to the channel if you want to see brito back on the video make sure to also like this video it's your boy nathan it's your boy brito i'm out peace <laughs>